To me, art is anything, everything. All that we do, all that we say, all that we think, all that, all, any kind of creative endeavor or creative problem solving or creative thinking. I don't know if I necessarily picked art, but I picked everything. I was taking architecture in high school, and I had taken art classes growing up and stuff, and I was always drawing, doodling, just doing whatever with whatever was around. And um, I think we were going on a drafting trip, like to go to like competition with our drawings, and one of the chaperones was the guidance counselor, and she saw me doodling in the van, and she was just like, oh my gosh, like, do you, are you in art class? Like, you've got to be in art class. And it was, it was like the worst kind of, stoner like doodle you could possibly probably do and I was like huh okay and so she got me into this art class even though it was like mid-semester so this was sort of my, my, my first real experience with other people who are more serious about art so I realized that I, I sort of was an artist before I decided to become an artist. I, I grew up in Texas and both my parents were farmers so oh no 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 <laughs> I totally just lied um, <laughs> Both of them grew up on farms, so my grandparents were farmers or ranchers. My granddad kept stuff, and so did my grandmother, and so they had these collections of stuff, not, not purposeful collections, not like, oh, I'm gonna collect stamps, or I'm gonna collect baseball cards, like, somehow it's, I'm gonna collect bikes, or I'm gonna collect gears, because it's something that I can use later. And, and so those are the kinds of ways that I would make art, is by using all this stuff that was around, and I would just figure out problems, or I was always wanting to figure out how stuff worked. I can see that no matter what I'm doing, what I, what I always do, or what I try to do, is see, share, and show potential and possibility. So, it's like, you need a paperweight, but all you have is one piece of paper. How can I fold this and make it heavy enough to be a paperweight? You know, it's like you can literally do everything that you need to do with what you already have on hand and what you already know and the people around you like helping you out. So it's like even if I'm filing at work, I can still see, share, and show potential and possibility. If I'm teaching a group of kids, I can still see, share, and show potential and possibility. If I'm making art, well, I mean hopefully that would be a great place, I can still see, share, and show potential and possibility. And so part of the way I directly do that in my work, I mean not necessarily consciously, but what I see is happening is that just by the materials that I use, um, like making a house out of popsicle sticks. I mean, it's something that we do as little kids, but I, I took it to like a little different level. So if you just looked at the house, you might not think instantly popsicle sticks, but you look at it a little more and you're like, whoa, yeah, that's popsicle sticks. Like that's something we all have access to. That's not, that's not brain science, <laughs> brain surgery, <laughs> or science. Whether we're doctors, attorneys, artists, mothers, fathers, kids, um, pet trainers, like whatever it is that we're doing, we're, we're supposed to be doing them. Not necessarily like we're all supposed to be doing them like with a flourish or in an artistic way, but, but we all have that creativity in us, that creative, that urge to create, in a sense.